What's up guys, Sam from Closet Tours, out here in New York with Michael Rainey Jr. Today we're gonna talk some fashion, Taurus closet, and then hopefully find some pieces for you to cop. Let's get it. All right, so Michael, what was your earliest memories of, you know, getting into fashion and starting paying attention to what you were wearing? Since I was a toddler, bro, my dad, like, he always used to keep me fly with the Air Force Ones, mm -hmm. Polo, Baby Gap and stuff like that. So, like, definitely my pops, he kind of instilled that in me, like, you know, gotta stay fly. Everyone knows you from Power, of course. How important is fashion in that show, right? Yeah. Because as a viewer, of course, we notice it. Everyone in the show is always dripped out, but right. from the back end, right? Yeah. Like, from the casting and, and styling, how important is that? How much goes into that? Nah, it's definitely very important. Um, shout out to Frank Fleming, he's the wardrobe coordinator. Like, it's crazy, because he really determines the fits of, like, off of scenes. Like, of, like after reading the yeah. scene, He's like, nah, this Strategic, is what. He, yeah, right? I'm like, yo, that's crazy. But um, it's definitely important because obviously, you know, people know power because it's just a crazy, action-packed, emotional show. But the, you know, the fashion is also a huge part of it. There's no other show on TV that really has like a cast that fly like <laughs> consistently, <laughs> consistently like, every episode. You, but even further, like every episode, but every scene. Yeah, right? every so scene. it's like you could have ten different fits in an episode, and they're all crazy, yes, right? Exactly. When you're choosing fits, like are you selecting through like racks of clothes or whatever you want to wear, mm -hmm. or is he actually picking that out for you? Before we start filming the seasons, we have um we have like the fittings. Mm -hmm. So it would be like a two, three racks of just mad clothes, like three racks of just full of bare design, and we just like you know just trying everything on, and then. Like, when it's starting to like start filming, they'll probably give you like two, three options for our outfit. Basically, we could just, you know, just choose whatever we want to do. Sometimes I would like grab stuff from one outfit, grab from the other put outfit, it together. Yeah, put it together. They definitely give us a lot of freedom. They give us a lot of flexibility. We kind of have like a lot of input on it, but Frank, he just kind of sets the, you know, the base for everything. So I've heard about like the competition within the show, right? Everyone's trying to be the freshest, whatever. Um, right. But more specifically, I read that you were got into an argument with Woody about some Louis Vuitton jacket. Yes. Can you, tell, can you see, tell the people about see, that? that Jacket, oh my God, it's the all black leather LV imprint. It's like $10,000, bro. This day, I wasn't really filming, like I just came to set just to like bother everybody. I guess I was just bored. Woody had it on and then like it was hot on set, so he ended up taking it off. And I took it and I, I threw it on, I was like, I took a picture with it. I'm like, nah, I need this, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how I'm gonna finesse this, but I need this jacket. I'm still, I still gotta finesse it though, cause they, they kind of being stingy with that one. I mean, I'm blaming ten racks for a jacket. I'll be stingy. With yeah, it too. of course. With fashion being so important to you, where do you see, where do you see yourself taking this in the future? Do you want to take fashion to a whole nother level? I realize like I have like a lot of supporters. First, I was gonna do like merch, but I kind of don't want to just box it into just being merch, as it could be way bigger than just merch. Like I want it to be an actual clothing brand, mm -hmm. so that's definitely gonna be my focus. Like not just merch, it's gonna be everything. Clothing. So there's, there's no name yet. There's no or, or all that. There is 22. Okay, Most okay. likely, it's just gonna be where's 22. I don't really want to put nothing too crazy of a name. So everybody that's just trying to you know find the drip that I be wearing sometimes, they can't find it. Com, you feel me? <laughs> you're from Staten Island. Mm -hmm. Like you grew up there at least. And now, you know, you're working for, you know, one of the biggest icons in New York. Crazy. Tell me about that, right? Did you grow up listening to 50? Yeah. How did he influence you before? And then like how has your perception changed of him mm -hmm. now that you work with him yeah. and you could kind of see him in a different light? Yeah, I definitely grew up listening to him like I was Way too young when he was popular, popular. Yeah. I was like six. I had a little iPod shuffle or a little iPod Nano or something like that. And a I little had, one? Yeah, I had mad 50 Cent on it. And like my mom used to always yell at me for listening to 50 Cent. <laughs> she used to always yell at me for wearing the do rags. Like yeah. she would never let me go outside with a do rag or none of that. She used to yell at me for all of that. So now, obviously, I'm working for him, working with him. He's like another father figure of my life. He's not just an executive producer, like, oh, you're on my shows, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, he makes sure everybody that he works with is on the right path. Like, he'll call you. He'll make sure you're doing right. Like, he don't play around. Especially when he sees me doing some shit, like, he'll, like, he'll call my mom, like, yo, what the hell Michael doing? And my mom, I don't know, you talk to him. <laughs> and then 50 years talking to me, I'd be like, all right, you right, you right. Most people don't know that Michael started acting when he was 10 years old, right? You were found literally on the street. Yeah. Is, literally. Am I correct by yeah. saying that? Yeah, literally. Um, <laughs> you were called 
to go audition in Italy? Yeah, basically this music video I did, it was for an Italian singer and it went like super crazy on MTV in Italy. And then an Italian actor slash director, he saw the video and had a thought in his mind like, yeah, I see this video and this is the kid like I need in my movie. Like, I don't know how you have that thought as a director. Like you see a kid in a music video, you don't even see him speak, you don't see him, you just literally just seeing his face behind some Never music. met him. You feel me? So I'm like, when my mom said that, she was like, oh, they want you to come to Italy for, you know, for an audition, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nah, what, that's, nah, that, that doesn't even make no sense. And she's like, nah, Universal Studios, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it was just a big decision to make, especially when you're like, nah, it's like, damn, I want to be away from my friend for this amount of time. Like, I'm playing football at the time. Like, damn, do I want to quit football? Like, Basically, it was a lot. You feel me? Like, it was just a growing up yeah, way quicker. Yeah, life changing right decision. But I'm happy I made that choice, though. So, we talked some fashion. Um, I think it's time. Got time to show them the drip. Let's do it. I think it's time. Let's get it. I ain't gonna lie, I might not go a day without wearing a hat. Like, it's like a very rare sighting to see me without a hat on. Okay, like, so are you really wearing this many hats though, or are you putting on the same type, same hat like yo, at a convenience? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I have like a good rotation of like six hats. Like, so you're me. buying hats even if you're not gonna wear it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta buy them just for future reference, like any, just in case. Any hat that stands out to you that- These been standing out to me lately, like a lot. Like the, the, the corduroy drums. That's fire. Like I just got that, I got this one, this one, this one. That's like my new my new vibe right now, like the corduroy. And it's been catching a lot of people. They're like, oh, I haven't seen now, a, a, a corduroy <laughs> fitted. So I'm like, I bet, I see what I gotta do now. You take this to the closet? First closet at least? Yeah, it's the first closet. A lot of stuff is very unorganized, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been, you know, I just moved, moved into this not too long ago. So it's like, I got a lot of clothes in a lot of other places, but so it's in here. every closet has some clothes, some sneakers. Yeah, a um, little bit of both. Take us through a few pieces that maybe stand out to you. Okay, but this is like probably my most important piece like in here. Yeah, hold up. This was only made for us. Like she only, shout out Maria. I mean, I forget Maria. She she started Spider with Doug. And she only made about six or seven. She made for me, Mary, Method Man, Gianni, and like three other people on the cast. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Maria. This is this is special. It's the only, it's the only one. Not yeah, for show sure. Them, show them that you know a little bit. But yeah, it's not for sale, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not, it's not for, for sale. sale. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and definitely point out these because Yeah, pull those out. Dude, these are the platinum easy, these are the easy tools. Y'all know about the Adidas easy and stuff, but y'all know about the Nike easy, you know what I'm saying? These are the tools. Um definitely like my favorite pair because they're just so clean. These are the red dons right here. These are the original, original Kanye West. Like these are the first sneaker collaboration he ever dropped. Louis Vuitton. Louis Don. V. The Louis V Don, you know what I'm saying? These are the Don. That's different. They're just the red dons right here. These are these is crazy. These are the best looking in my opinion. Super clean, the tan with the pink hidden. These are the easy ones. These are the easy ones. You know <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So look, so look, for y'all that don't know. Yeah, show them, show those real quick. For y'all that don't know, first he did the Louis Vuitton collab. You know what I'm saying? Did the Louis Vuitton collab, then this is his first Nike collab. Then he did the second Nike collab. And after that, he went to Adidas. I'm telling you, the Kanye, the Kanye fans watching this uh, will really love this. I ain't gonna lie. When do you be pulling these out? Oh, that's summertime drip. Because right I was there. gonna say, so we got some. Uh, yeah, you know, you, that's when you go into like bucket a, hats you over feel here. Me? That's when you go to like the beach or something. You know what I'm saying? You throw this on. This is fire. The shorties love it when I got the bucket. <laughs> when I got the bucket on, it's a different type. got a whole collection type. of them too. Yeah, I just put them to the closet. As we said, we're gonna give y'all a chance to get some of this drip. See, right here, look. Got some Amiris. These are these are some special Amiris. If you really look at them. You could tell they took a long time making these, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so now it's time for y'all to throw these on and show me what y'all got. These, you could really only wear these once. I wore these twice though. Now, these are special to me because I caught them on sale. But I'm a sale, I'm tell y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's take it to the next closet. Let's get it. Second closet. Second closet? Let's get it. Run it. Yo, bro, out yo, you would never want you don't know you don't even want to know what I did to my other green pair. What'd you do? I had the green ones, right? I bought them in Houston. And I'm packing and I left them there, bro. I left them there, bro. Damn, I bro. literally was packing. You didn't I'm even like, make a phone call to try to get them? Bro, I called the hotel, they're like, oh we checked the room. Yeah. The staff's wearing them now. Them boys <laughs> got whoever whoever cleaned my room, I know they you got a good them, pair yeah. of off whites, man. Show us the jackets. Anything we got from Power sands out? Yeah, definitely. We got? we got a few things from Power. I ain't gonna lie, my favorite though is definitely this jacket right here. The Miri, the Miri leather jacket, bro. This is tough. You wore that on scene? Yeah, I wore this the final episode of season one, actually. This is the jacket I killed Professor Jabari in. Professor Jabari Reynolds, my fault. I had to do it to you. They iconic made me do it. episode. It's the iconic jacket, so I caught the body over here. This is a new, this is a new pickup. I just got this. It's the, this the capital right here. Capital right here. This is fire. 
little racing type vibe, you know what I'm saying? Give me like a little, I like cars, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like a speed racer in this. What do you drive? Um, Right now, I have a Porsche 911 Turbo S. I got an R8 and then I have an M5, but my favorite is the Porsche. But we also still gotta give the people the chance to get fly though, Dan. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me? I got this little. What you got vintage, for them? I got this little vintage Gucci joint right here. This is fire. I ain't gonna lie. It's calm. You know, it's like a little player vibe. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like right now, it's cold. I throw that on with like a little like little tee, white tee. Throw that on with the Tims. You golden. You know what I'm saying? You get fly. You Gucci. What else we got here? Unlimited amount of. Shit. I don't know what else. To next closet. About. Yeah, next closet. Let's get it. We out. We in the third closet now, baby. Let me show y'all what's going on. So look, it's a lot in here. Look, we got some stuff from Power again. This is one of the, you know, one of the little calm track suits I wore. This is calm, it's oh. something calm. But this is really where it gets serious though, because this is from an iconic scene. Oh, yeah. This is from an iconic scene. This is episode one, season one. I was in the courtroom, and y'all know what happened in that courtroom. So we did what we had to do, he was moving <laughs> right. But yeah, this is definitely iconic. Tom Brown, one of my favorite brands. You were hated after that. What? Huh? I was hated. Nah, I, actually after that though, they was they was they was messing with me. They was like, oh, hold on, Tariq, he kind of smart. They kind of understood what was going on after that courtroom scene. I did what I had to do. This is from Tommy Hilfiger. We did like a collaboration with On the Radar. It was me and a few other producers. Like we did like a live stream. We were just cooking up on live. I shout out Dizzy Banco, Matthew Ali, and uh, Great John. Those are the other producers that was with me. But Tommy dressed us. Tommy Hilfiger. They dressed us for that live stream, and he gave us this jacket. It was fun. It was fire. We was making beats. Cooking up, chopping it up, it was lit. I know, I know y'all know when Barney shut down, bro. I <laughs> shed a tear when they closed Barney's, I'm telling you. Look, this Vetmont, this is how I was, I was feeling on my, I was on my killer camp, you know what I'm saying? This could go to y'all though. Like, you, I did what I had to do, it kept me warm. Let me show y'all though, cause this is really- Show them how you rock This is how you really gotta, you feel me, look. This is how you, this is the beginning stages, you know what I'm saying? When you first hop outside, feel me? Then as you, you know what I'm saying, you get it more comfortable on the outside, you just, you just let that just rest, you know what I'm saying? You just, it's That's like a cloak. Looking like money. You know what I'm saying? It's like a cloak, you just chill, walk around, and then like every two seconds you gotta move it out the way so they can see the fit under, you gotta, <laughs> feel me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they gotta know what's going on under. We gotta talk about this. Dude's got a crazy cologne collection. This is just a little bit of So tell us, it's obviously, Cologne and the scent in general is important to nah, you, right? Nah, it's the most important thing. I ain't gonna lie, that's my favorite compliment to get. Like, when I'm walking outside, I'm outside, someone, oh, you smell good? It's my favorite thing to hear. Next to it, you got a good outfit on. But, you know, that's a you know. So all my fellas out there, the young homies, the little homies that's watching, feel me? Make sure you smelling good. You don't need a million of them. But look, you get like a good rotation of four, you good, cause you can mix them one on one, you feel me? I can't really show y'all what's going on back here, but for the ones that Secret know, y'all gonna you know. You know, you know. I'm gatekeeper. I'm gatekeep king. Cause y'all can't be out here smelling like me, bro. Get out of here, bro. Chill. All right, appreciate you, Michael. Thanks for having us in, showing us the closets, talking a little fashion with us, giving the insight to some of your fan base. Now let's find some pieces to offer to the people. Let's do it. Um, but honestly, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know, Warzone just dropped, and I gotta go get to it. So y'all gotta get out of here.